Cowboys this morning for this Thursday morning is brought to you by SWBC Mortgage and welcome to the star in Frisco. Bill Jones along with Daryl Johnston who of course called the Cowboys lost to the Rams last week. He called the game. He didn't predict the Cowboys <laughs> would lose the game Thank to you, the Rams. But what was your take on, on what the Cowboys did or did not do against the Rams last week? Well, it was the tale of two halves and, and we talked about the Dallas Cowboys at the beginning of the game. Uh, not playing their style. Time of possession was not what it was last year. Getting off to a fast start and Des on the outside. So the game opens up and they're kind of accomplishing all those challenges that they faced during the course of the year so far. They have four scoring drives in the first half. Des starts out with a big play right away on that first series. So at 24-13, you think they fixed everything and they came out in the second half and they didn't play well. So for me, the big thing coming into this Green Bay game, number one, more than anything else, they've got to play 60 minutes of football. They haven't played a complete game yet. And if they're going to beat the Packers, they're going to have to play for 60 minutes. Of course, uh, of course, play the Packers, and you have to deal with Aaron Rodgers, and he is a handful for any team. The Cowboys have seen enough of Aaron Rodgers lately to know exactly what he can do. They sure have, and, and I'm sure that he's excited to play against his team because I, I still don't think we know exactly where the secondary is. If you go back and you look at the opponents that Dallas has faced this year, the Giants' passing offense wasn't what we thought it was going to be. Uh, Denver's more of a running team. The Arizona Cardinals are not having a good year. They got exposed a little bit last week with a young Jared Goff with new guys around him. They're going up against one of the best, if not the best quarterbacks in the NFL with a good wide receiving core. We're going to find out exactly what this Dallas secondary is all about this weekend. All right, it's a 325 kickoff at AT&T Stadium on Sunday afternoon. The Cowboys and the Packers for Daryl Johnston. I'm Bill Jones, and that is Cowboys This Morning brought to you by SWBC Mortgage.